Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sim Gamer. I hope you're incredibly well today. So we're going to jump straight in on the old stream farm. I've decided, with the money that I've put um, acquired in the last episode, to go and find myself a tiny plot of land. There are a few little tiny plots. So we've got 73 here. We've got 72. Um, there's 10. Field number 10, which is quite a good size. Field 14. I mean, there's not much I can do with it at the moment, but, 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 my thinking is, once I have enough money, I could put a little house on there um, and start building myself up some equipment and go from there. Um, so I'm just going to drive over. Let's have a look at what this plot 14 looks like. So, plot 14 must be field 12. Let's, uh, in fact, it's probably going to be easier if we walk. We'll leave the truck and we'll have a little walk. So, field 14 is... Or, oh, farmland 14. Oh, it's the one next to the graveyard by the looks of it. So, here. Well, it's quite a cute little plot, to be honest. The only thing is, it's definitely not one for a house. Maybe one for a tent. Um, the the It's just too hilly. So I definitely couldn't put a house on there. Um, that probably doesn't even come with it. Right, let's go back to the map, shall we? So that's that was field 14. The other one was, it was plot land... 10 which is just around the corner so field 11 let's go have a look at field 11 has that got a little bit more potential for what we're looking for i'm not sure let's go find out again it's quite hilly but it does have a little bit more potential for a house build hmm I mean, if I flattened it and did some a little bit of magic, I probably could make that work. And it potentially could look quite cute if we make it as part of the part of the uh, landscape. And then I've got all this potential to expand here. And then there is a farmyard down there, which eventually I could look to purchase. Hmm, I quite like this idea. Quite like this idea. Okay, what was the other options? The other options were these two, but I think that's a little bit too urban. Not that much. Yeah, it's not a field, is it? I would be buying... I would be buying the land where some production chains are, which is no good to me at the moment. So it's around... Yeah. Yes, I'd be buying this land. Right now, that's not of much use to me. I just need somewhere to live at the moment. Not necessarily going to do anything apart from live. Okay, what else? Let's just have one more look around. Okay, so... What else looks cheap-ish, size-wise? What about this one down here? Okay, no, that's double what we have. Live in the forest? Nope. Um, That's way too hilly. That's a potential. So that's quarter of a million when we want to, if we did want to go for this little area. Which is quite quite interesting, really. Right up here. A okay, forty one. Okay. Do you know what? I think we should go for this. I like it. I like it a lot. I mean we do need to do a little bit of landscaping to make it livable. Um, let's go down to the construction menu 
and have a look at maybe a farmhouse. I'm not even sure if I have... Yeah, see, I don't even have on here... Um, I don't have anything installed. So... And what I mean by that, I apologise, like a tent or something. Um, so the only thing we have here is a uh, 20 grand farmhouse. 17 grand. <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing that. Um, and these are all quite expensive, so I might end up having to download some new, new little bits. Um... But that's okay. So, we own this. That's pretty cool, right? I like, I like, I like, I like. Um, so, one option, I suppose, would be we could rent some kit and cut this up uh, and sell it on. I'm not really sure whether financially it's going to be worth it. I mean, that's the only thing to our name at the moment is our car. Um, the only good thing is that car can tow, that truck can tow. Okay, um. Shame we don't have some money. That's a good McCormick, that is. Get up to 240 horsepower when you want to do some updates. Ooh, and look at that. Although I do know that's quite noisy, as far as you being able to hear me. You might not actually be able to hear me. Um, okay, so let's have a think. This isn't a very vast amount of space. So what I could potentially do... Um, let's have a look at what mowers offers we have installed on here. Um, and if there is something we could... Borrow. I mean, I've even got my little ride on, you know. Which I know looks stupid, but I could potentially do that, then borrow a bale, like a, and, and wrap them up, you see? I think this might be an idea, you know. How much is it to lease that? So that's 132. Then I would need to windrow it. I'm not much of a fan of that one, but I could just use this one here. So that would be 300. Okay, this is all doable so far. The only thing is balers. Balers are expensive. Um, I suppose that's... No, actually, do you know what? The quick bail... Might be the cheapest option. Does, is that the Uniwrap? That's not the Uniwrap version, is it? No. So I reckon the Quick Bell is going to be our cheapest option for an all-in-one. And how much to lease that? Three grand. Ooh. Question is, do I... Will I make enough back? It's not a very large space. It's not a very large space at all. The only other thing that I could do is take on a contract, another bailing contract, and use the equipment on here. Which technically is fine because you're leasing the equipment from the shop. I'm not. I'm not borrowing it from. Sorry, I'm just getting so distracted by the pictures, like George and Keith. Um, so I'm thinking this might be an idea. Hmm. 
Or if I'm going to do it, I'm probably more likely to go with find the equipment that will work because this field's small, so I don't want to go too crazy. Although that's probably perfect, to be honest. Yep, let's just take that one then. So we'll deal with, we'll we'll work on field forty three. And then we can get busy with our own field. Cut up our own stuff. Fish bash bosh. We're we're on we're on to a winner. Okay, so field forty three is not far at all. And to be honest, Neva's are field 11. Question is, what's the best way to get to it? I'm still trying to learn this map. Is there a way back there? It doesn't look like it. It's the other side of the stream, so I think I'm going to have to go the long route. Because again, I don't particularly know my way around. I am going to go inside cab because this is quite a big bit of kit. So we're going to go over the river. Sorry buddy, let me manoeuvre and I'll let you in. Quick shop. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Okay, good. So I hope you're all very well today. And I do apologise that this is quite similar to the first episode. I'm very aware that I don't want it to become samey. But this is quite a good way for us to progress. So let's see, is there a nice little scoot through? Must be in between these two fields or is it going to be lined? It's lined with trees. So we'll, oh, no, there's one there, look. Is that a track? No. We'll go down to the end of field 40 and use that track, I think. I can barely see out of this thing. And this window's huge. I do like the start from scratch let's plays. I find them really satisfying. When you succeed and you get something right. Yeah, nothing quite like it. Alright, let's go out. Let's get this lowered so I can see where we want to make a start. And I'm not going to do wide spreading. We are going to uh, toggle work mode. We are going to do, come on, swath dropping. So we don't need to use the wind rower. We're just going to go straight for it. Let's get every single ounce of this field. Every little penny is going to count towards our future. And that's what we need to be focused on. So we've purchased our first little bit of land. I'm going to make a little bit of money from it. And then from there, sky's the limit really. This isn't my first start from scratch scenario. Um, but it does excite my way of play. 
that makes sense. It's just, I find it a little bit more challenging than starting off with loads of equipment and sometimes you don't even know what equipment you own because, you know, you've started off with it. I like to buy my equipment and earn my way up. Just to me, it's a little bit more exciting. I love playing on hard mode. I think most of you know that about me. Hard mode is definitely my preferred version of the game. I know it's not always easy to go down that route, but I, um, yeah, it's definitely preferred for me. Let's see, you go down. And I just like to play the system a little bit. Play the system, I'll rent this equipment, use it for myself, build the business that way. But I'm paying the fee, so I'm not borrowing it from the farmer, I'm borrowing it from the shop. Brand new equipment. I've always seen it that way, rather than... It's, at no point does it say it's the farmer's hit. So yes, a little bit of contracting and let's start building up our fields, see what we can create together. So I'll get this done and I'll see you back at my farm. Alright, I made it everybody. That was nice and quick. That's what I love about this mower. It just gets the do job done so fast. I accidentally pressed the... Uh... Oh, what did I do there? I need to lower. Go on. Um, I accidentally pressed the circle button to hire somebody. $15 wasted. Why would I hire anybody to do my work? Not until we are bigger, guys. Not until we are bigger. Let's try and negotiate this building. Don't want to upset our neighbours too early on. Oh, we've got some lovely wildlife in our back garden. I'm pretty sure this is more of a back garden than anything else right now. go round we go we'll just get this cut up bailed up and we'll just leave I think we'll just leave them in the field to ferment aka my back garden there's not much going on here but but it is a start and that is all we can ask for right guys So I did something really stupid today and in all my years I've never done it. I locked myself out of the house. I locked myself out of the house and uh, thankfully I had my dogs with me. I was just about to take them out for a walk. Well, they're on the leads. I put my phone in my pocket, key in my pocket, poo bags. That's all I go out with with my dogs and I have very specific routine and somehow I i don't know what I was thinking I always put the key in my back pocket but I put poo bags in my left hand pocket where it always goes my phone in my right hand pocket and my like jean back pocket I just put more poo bags in so when I did my checks I was going out the door Closed the door, felt my back pocket. I was like, that is not a key. Annoyingly, my, my husband's working quite a distance away at the moment. And the only other person who had a key, whoopsie daisy, oh goodness. 
Goodness, goodness, goodness. The only other person who had a key was my sister. So, she did me an absolute solid and drove for an hour and come and rescued me. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, still got a cough. And so I, I owe her a solid. I, uh, that was not my intention. So it was a, a bit of drama for the morning, everybody. A bit of drama. I'm recording this on Monday the 8th in the evening. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't the way I wanted to start my Monday. I had, a, I had the whole day planned out, right? I had the whole day planned out. I was going to get so much done. And you know those days where you just, you, you just think, right, that's, that's enough. I'm just going to restart my day again like that I'm done I'm just gonna restart the week off elsewhere so yeah I had a strange I had a strange start to the week my friends I'm just wondering could I scoot across there I'm just gonna scoot close your eyes everybody close your eyes close your eyes close your eyes scooting 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 I need to go that way one of these days I'll get used to the locations of everything. Okay, good. Right, so we're going to pick up the quick baler now. With the New Holland. You can fit through there, don't... Don't fret. Yes, so we've borrowed a New Holland. Um, as I say, we don't need the wind rower because this does swath dropping. So we've got away with that. Tight parking. There we go. In and out. Very nice and quick. And this is a beast. This is a beast of a tractor. So this shouldn't take us too long. They've cutesy matched up the quick baler with the branding of the New Holland. Map maker, I see you. And I think around here will be some more silage additive. But this time I'm not gonna add as much. We're gonna we're gonna be cheeky. Because we have to pay for all this. I'm just gonna put it in a little bit. Now technically we didn't pay for it's weird, right? That cost two thousand alone, that pallet. But we managed to get it pretty much for free. And I'm not going to use it all. And technically, I don't need to use it either. It's not part of the contract. But I, I'm going to use it, and I'm certainly going to use it on my little field. So, ooh! Burp, burp, coming through. Again, you have seen me rat bales in the last episode. So I'm not going to uh, put you through watching me again. I'll bring you back in in, um, in a little while. I'll get ours wrapped up, maybe get the others picked up. So I'll see you in about, it's probably half an hour's gameplay. So I'll see you very soon, guys. Okay, we're back over our little uh, our little field here contract work we managed to get this vehicle was reserved for contract work <gasps> what interesting so I was I was able to use I was able to use the mower but not the baler Ooh, that is a new development okay um let's see if we can trick it 
I'm just gonna go get my truck. I'm hoping. Oh no, it probably won't because it's not got a PTO. That will need a PTO. That is not going to work. That is not going to work. Okay. Interesting. That puts my idea completely out of the window. Oops. No, let's go this way. Let's just drive up there anyway for a second. I know this is one way, but I'm just going to throw my car around this corner. Hope that no one comes up here. Yeah, this is not going to work because it's not got the PTO. Um, shoot. Okay. So, what am I going to do? I mean, first things first. Well, that's weird. I can't believe that that worked for one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, this can stay on our land. Let's go finish off the contract, and what I will need to do is I'll need to borrow another baler and I probably could just pull it now that I know I can I'll just pull it with my truck it won't look great or it's not very au fait but it would get me to where I need to be which is just making sure that this all gets bailed up <coughs> please excuse the coughing get some lights on let's go pick up the the bits that we need I couldn't get through here last time could I is this is this a gate here there's a gate but they don't I think you need to own the land to open it which Again, I didn't think used to be a problem, but it, it seems to be in this one, which is pretty good, really. You don't want other people opening your stuff up. I don't know if there's collectibles on this map either. I haven't seen any. Ooh, look at that. Pretty. Right. We're just going to scoot around the edge of this field. Oh gosh, now I'm stuck in here. Oh no, I'm not. It's an open edge. I do want to get this contract turned in before the night draws in. Our grass will still be there tomorrow, so we can sort that out tomorrow. So I'll bring you back in when I'm ready to turn in the contract. I'll see you in a minute. Here we go, guys. We're just about to sell these bales off. It has got so dark so quickly. I, I don't even know the way in. So we're just going to have a little search around and hope we find the entrance. Okay. Definitely not this side. Is there a way this Okay. Ah, that's a no entry, but again, I'm just gonna scoop for it. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. So here's all twenty-four bales. Mm, 
Now the question is, are they going to want me to put it into... Mm. Let's find out. Are they going to want me to lift them in? Let's unload. Okay, no, that's working. Fantastic. 67, 80, 90, 100% done. Here's the extra cash. Bish, bash, bosh. Oh, that was good. Now, those two are sitting there because it's full up. Yep, it's full. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move this to the side. Okay. Looks like cotton wool, doesn't it, there? And we are going to uh, close the contract, walk back, go to sleep because it is dark. Actually, I think our little flat is just around the corner. Should be. It's a bit hard to see in the dark. I get a bit turned around. But... Where did we live? Where did I live? Oof. Gosh. Uh, um, I've forgotten where I live, guys. Forgotten where I live. So that's, that's our new bit of land. Now, where did I have my little bag? And my little rental property. Gosh, I'm going to be running around like a lunatic now, aren't I? Just trying to find my... My sleepy spot. I th See, I thought it was right on the river. Near field 60. Did I just run straight past it? Or... Everything looks so much different in the dark. So confusing. Yeah, see, that's not... That's definitely not it. Ooh, I've never been down here before. Yes, that's definitely not it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know that. Yes, 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 yes. I know where I am now. I can see the windmill from my little room. That means I'm here! Oh, gosh. Talk about getting lost. Do you know what? Let's have a sleep. Loan interest? Oh, I tell you what, I came on hard mode, didn't I? Which means you have a massive loan. Do you know what? I completely forgot about that. So I, I'm in 500 grand's worth of debt and I've completely forgot about it. Okay, let's not panic. Let's keep cool, calm and collected. I did genuinely forget that I went on to start from scratch, which means you do get 500,000 given to you. But you're also in a bucket load of debt. This isn't the biogas plant, is it? That is the weighing scales, though. That's a different weighing scales, though, isn't it? Well, isn't that a turn up for the books? That has uh, sort of set me back in my tracks. I completely forgot about that. 
so not only are we working our backsides off, we are going to need to contend with a lot of debt. Oh. Did they sell when I... Or did, oh, did they disappear? Okay. So that miscellaneous, that minus figure, that was when I started with 500,000. I actually took that completely out of my account after buying the truck. Then loan interest of five. Nearly 6,000. Contract income was 23. And so extra sold bales is uh, 32. Yeah, so the, the truck was 33,000. Okay. Okay. So, next job. Let's, um... Let's borrow a baler. Put it on the back of this. And get this bailed up. So we've got we've got quite a struggle ahead of us, guys. I I don't I know I keep driving through this guy's farm. Hopefully he doesn't mind. It's just it's a good route around to get to where I need to go. Whoopsie, sorry. I need to fix the sensitivity as well. I think I mentioned that in the last episode where I've been playing with it to get the steering wheel right. I still haven't played and got the steering wheel right and I've got annoying sensitivity issues so yeah I've got that to sort out but for now we're not gonna get lucky are we? No. Okay so no we don't need a mower we need Baylor. Um, this is the only other baler, but that's going to be even more money than the quick bail. Uh, and the cheapest, just normal baler is 48. So if I buy that plus a wrapper, that is just adding up. So my best bet is to go for this quick baler. Quick, quick. Quick, quick bail or quick bail? I'll just go for the quick bail. I'm just gonna lease as it is. Okay, so when I close the contract, the silage additive also disappeared. That's fair enough. There we go. So anybody looking at this thinking, what on earth is she doing? I know. But this is the situation right now. It may be a case that we can look for a used tractor, swap in the truck. That would be quite handy. If we could find something. But for now, hopefully you can all forgive me. I do quite like this yard. It's a nice looking yard. Right, let's unfold it. Give it time. I'm not really sure what I'm going to get out of this. And I am a little concerned that I'm not even going to get three grand's worth back. But it's a risk we kind of need to take. Thank you. 
Thankfully this picks up at quite a distance. Yeah, I've already got out the smallest bale size, so... That's one bale. Two. Definitely going to get three. Hmm. You're going to think I'm weird. I'm going to leave the rest of that. That is not going to fit. And I'll be leaving money on the table. How many litres are in each of these? 7,500, 7, that's pretty decent actually. Okay. Excuse me for using the lumberjack mod. Okay, so that's money there. Okay. Well, all we can do now is sit and wait and see if that equates to more than three grand and if it's worth doing again. Um, we still only have bailing contracts. We certainly don't want to jump into yet another bailing contract, do we? So I think my best bet... Would be to skip another month and see what else comes up. The only issue with skipping another month is that massive interest payment that we're going to get. I wonder if I uh, do new contracts. Does anything come up? No. No. Okay. Let's see what's see what tomorrow brings. That's gonna be that interest payment, isn't it? So we're gonna be into the low teens. Okay. It's not so bad. Great demand at the animal dealer. Not sure we'll be fermented by now, but let's just go check. if that's the case the animal dealer is a great place to take this grass oh it is silage right let's do this let's go sell we'll take it to the um, we'll take it to the animal dealer Best stacking, but it will do. It will do. Okay, let's do this. Whoopsie. Let's turn off super strength, shall we?
There we go. Sometimes you have to walk away. Okay, animal dealer, where are you? Is that the one right at the top? I think it is. Didn't we go there? Yeah, we did. Our first contract was there. So, quickest route. Quickest route. Main road. So if I flip out here, then go to the right. And the main road it. Oh gosh, my... My, uh... Camera isn't working. I can only see that way. Well, there we go. Oh, that was a weird bug. Couldn't quite see what was going on there. My exorcist wasn't working. Strange. Sweet and sour raisins. Love it. Right, let's go see. The biggest hope is this is more than three grand. If it is, then that was worthwhile. If it wasn't, then we made a little bit of a mistake. A, buying that plot of land. Because that plot of land is literally everything. It's, what, it's the only thing that's going to keep us going. But if we only get three bales out of each time, which, to be honest, I am surprised we got as much as we did off of that little plot of land. Three bales. 22,500 litres. I am shocked about that. But let's see how much we're going to get. Oh, so <laughs> 568 with a minus 155, so we only made 400. Wow, okay. So that is definitely not the strategy going forward. Cutting it and renting is not a strategy at all so maybe I'll put animals on there is it flat enough for animals possibly could that work maybe I mean the only animals that I could manage to look after right now is sheep with grass I could definitely afford to pick up the grass cut it and cut pick it up gosh oh I'm so sorry I did try to break hmm so sheep I think is going to be our best bet How would we pick up the existing grass which is sitting there though? I know this is a no entry. Sorry dude, running you over. I apologise. Honk honk coming through. Lots of thinking to do. This, I'm going to need to get this up one way or another. Um. So I could just get a simple like a bucket, bucket and spade type situation. 
I know there is an issue though with this pack, so I don't particularly want to get anything from there. Hmm. I might just have to clear it. As in, go to easy dev controls. And just have uh, grass sown, growing, ready to harvest, where it is now. There we go. So that's just got rid of it without any issues. Okay, so now if this is the case... Oh, sugar, let me turn off my, tra my truck. Let's have a look at what pastures I have installed. Do I have any... Huh. I don't remember that being there, that farmland. Isn't that weird? You play a game for, f for hours and hours and hours and you only just notice something. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, so... See, this all could work. Let's have a look. Let's have a peek. So they are 40, 40, 40, 40, 80. Here we go. That's better. 80, 80, 80. That's 200, 12 quid. Does need water though. So I, I would need to do that. Do I want a fence? This is, is this fenced off? No, it's not. This is milk, not wool. Um. Gosh. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Okay. So that's with shed, without shed, no fence. Let me have a look with fence. So that's quite, it's quite nice. Hmm. The only good thing about the fenceless option is my ability to cut a bit of grass. Even if it is small, I would be able to get a mower in there. I mean, how far, how big is that? Why is that now saying not enough money? I had enough money a minute ago. That was weird. You guys saw that, right? See, this is only six grand. Okay, let's do this. My only concern is them wandering into the... I can't see where the wandering site area is. Where are they going to go? Where are they going to wander to? Hmm. At least here I know where they are. And that's my boundary right there. So I can push it. How how weird is that bug? Is everyone else? That's crazy, that bug. Hmm. 
Oh, I'm gonna put it, go back again. Um, I don't want it to go into someone's back garden. I think that will work. Okay, good. Right. So we have a few options. We also have goats, but I am going to stick with sheep. Oh, well, sheep. Oh, no, that's goats. What am I going on about? So that's Welsh goats. Goat, 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 goat. But I like that we've got Welsh sheep. Have they just changed the name of them? Steinschaf? Blenheim. Oh, I do quite like these, you know. They're really nice. So let's get one. No, I need a proper ram. And then I. Mm -mm -mm. Sheep. So there's ram, young ram, sheep. Well, the sheep are significantly cheaper than the ram. Okay, I can't afford that many. How many can I afford? Let's do 25. Okay, good. Right. Now you need food and water. And I'm going to need to do some landscaping. So. Let's do a little bit of landscaping here. soften all of this so it doesn't look so silly it was already on a bit of a wonk anyway so that's fine so this is the grass that's going to keep them alive basically which is madness I know what am I thinking and it is ready to harvest, but we also need water. So let's have a very quick look at what options I have for water. Oops. No. Come on. Okay, I was expecting there to be water in there. There normally is. Obviously, it doesn't come in a bag. I must not have the mod installed on this particular game save. Okay. I definitely need to soften that a little bit more, don't I? Right. 
So I need to go and get a couple more things in this game save. Which I probably could just leave until the next episode, to be honest. We're, we're quite far over time. Very far over time, in fact. So what I'll do, I'll carry this on in the next episode. We'll get this all sorted. Um, and I can't wait to see you there. If you've enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this on Farming Simulator 22. See you soon. Bye for now.